です。ハッピーニューイヤー。明けましておめでとうございます。We're in America. It's snowing. Look at the birdies. This is like the fourth or fifth time for me to come here, and I've noticed many things that are different from my country, Japan. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. Finally, it's the June culture shock video. <laughs> so since you've come here, what's the most shocking thing that you've seen in America? That would be turning right on the red light. Really? That's the most shocking. I mean, because without knowing,、uh -huh. and I was actually in the car with you. That was my first time for me to see my wife drive,、uh -huh. and then like it was clearly red, and <laughs> you just turned right. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was pretty shocking to me. So here in America, I guess you're supposed to turn right on the red if there's no car coming from left. You don't have to.、Um, we had an oil crisis in the '70s,、mm -hmm. and then they made this law so that they could preserve oil instead of just idling at the traffic lights. It lets people keep going longer,、mm -hmm. so you can just go if there's no traffic coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that was quite shocking to me. And as soon as I got your parents' house. Another thing I notice is that when you lock the door,、uh -huh. it goes sideways when you lock in Japan. But here, like the door lock was this way when it was locked, isn't it? It's yeah, it's different. <laughs> yeah. So now it's open, right? Yeah. Are they all like this, Papa? Yeah. In America, this way means open. Yeah. Oh.、Okay. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. Locked. Huh. I never noticed. And what else? Right, the yard. The size of the yard is just amazing. Yeah, yard. It's huge. Last time when your、uh, family came and your relatives and your uncle, your uncle came with the golf club and he, he was putting. He was like just swinging a ball. Yeah, putting in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, call, I don't know golf terms. Yeah, but some people have really really big yard and you can just、yeah. play golf like、yeah. practicing. Yeah. So my mom has that yard, and then the entire. Forest and hill behind her, she owns that too. <laughs> Which my brothers go up. Well, when they live there, they used to go up it and hunt. Yeah, and squirrels. Squirrels are everywhere here, and that's something <laughs> I'm not used to. I don't think many people actually see squirrels in like real life, really. Unless you、know. live in the countryside. If you guys have been around our channel for a long time, you might have seen one of our really old videos where we went to a park, and I talked about a story where Jude mentioned that in Japan. The squirrels live in the deep forest. It sounds so ominous. <laughs> you can only see squirrels in the deep forest. I, They're everywhere here. I grew up in somewhat <laughs> countryside area where there's so many just rice paddies and just trees and river. It's pretty countryside, and I can see mountains from my window in my room. But you don't, you don't have squirrels here. Yeah, I guess not. So that's, I guess that's why it's a deep. Yeah. Oh, and another quite shocking thing was that I knew it, I expected it, but still, it was pretty shocking.、Um, people carry around guns. Some people. Yeah, you're like your dad. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my dad carries a gun. And you told me that、um, when I first went to America, and I was pretty nervous. Like, <laughs> to meet my dad. Yeah, like,、uh, what if I say something? <laughs> Offensive or rude, like accidentally, will he just pull the gun? Like, I hope people don't do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's, your dad is amazing. He's、yeah. really nice, and、um, now he's like my drone teacher. He, <laughs> my dad he, really likes he, drones. He taught me a lot of things. I learned so much from your dad.、Yeah. Ever since we've been here, my dad's done nothing except want to talk to June. Like I go visit my dad, and then he takes June outside right away, and they're just playing with drones. <laughs> yeah, well, not just that, but your dad always teaches me. Yeah. Like your dad, like even built his own house, right? Yeah. Like he knows what to make and even fix a lot of things, and that's something that I always wanted to be able to. That's kind of like expected in my family for guys to know how to do some like home renovations and stuff. Yeah. So my brother just bought a house and he's making plans for renovations. He's right. He's planning on doing most of it himself. Yeah. We're gonna go there this weekend and paint. Right, and <laughs> that's another thing. Again, you guys like especially when it comes to houses,、mm -hmm. you guys do all things by yourselves. Like go、yeah. to the home center and get like paint and you know, just paint your wall yourself, or even like peel off the wallpaper. Uh huh. Or like some people even fix their toilets themselves. Yeah. What else do you do? Like 
it, it, dep it depends on the person and what they know how to do. Like, my family, yeah. several people in my family know every part of the building a house, so oh. they can do anything. <laughs> it, I mean, it depends on the person here. There are people who don't know anything about that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. but especially if your family's somewhat more blue collar, mm -hmm. then I imagine you know at least basic stuff about fixing your own car and like fixing stuff in your house. That too, that too. Fixing your car yourself. Yeah. <laughs> in Japan, you have to get car inspections like every other year, but here, I think it depends on the area. But like, have you had. I've never heard of a car inspection. <laughs> Just do it yourself? I mean, not but here. That, that, that depends on the area. I don't know, I've but never heard of that. But Maybe some places have that. With car inspections, I appreciate it, but I don't like that because it's expensive. <laughs> I'm sure um, fixing yourself it would be a lot cheaper if you can do it. Mm -hmm. There are so many great shows here, and I just couldn't stop watching. America has mastered entertainment. This is one thing we have. <laughs> Once you start watching, you just can't stop it until you finish the season, and then you realize that there will be more like six more seasons, and you just can't stop watching again, so you need to stay up all night. Oh, and also, uh, it's really not common to have sailor lines here, is it? Or is it just my... I don't know about like super new houses or like other parts of the country, but where we live, no. It's really dark, I hate it. I wish we had ceiling lights. It looks really nice and like very neat to me, but sometimes I need like a ceiling light to yeah. light up the entire floor so I can see things well. Yeah, I mean it's mostly just the living rooms that often don't have ceiling lights. Mm -hmm. Although some really nice houses have like recessed lighting, mm -hmm. or they have like those kind of spotlight things. Our living room in Japan has really bright LED lights, which I like, it helps me see easier. But yeah. I also notice a little things when I go outside too. There are many, many libraries here. Yeah, more than McDonald's. Yeah. I'm so proud. <laughs> like you see McDonald's like every corner mm -hmm. block, but you have like more than that. Right? Yeah, that's just amazing. Isn't yeah, it? libraries are great. I yeah. love libraries. Yeah. Another thing I noticed when I went to a clothing store was that mm -hmm. like some places you can take hangers with you when you buy clothes. Yeah, like Kohl's. Yeah. They give me the hanger. Like. You have to return this normally in Japan. Insides of the grocery stores are just insanely big compared to the ones I go to. We need that selection. <laughs> I think it was the um, cereal aisle you took me first. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, you guys have like a really, really long and tall aisle that has like 20 shelves of cereals. Yeah, it's just cereal. <laughs> just cereal. Yeah. And of course the portion you get for the price you pay is a lot, a lot more than we get in Japan. Like yeah. this giant bag of potatoes, just just a bunch of potatoes. Oh yeah, the big bags of potatoes. Like it's so big that you can like, fit in the camera. I also noticed that like some food are really colorful and very, very vivid. And they're not really up pleasant to me, huh. but I guess they are to you. Like uh, it's usually the kids' foods that are uh, brightly colored. Yeah. Unless it's like cake. Cake can be any color. <laughs> Cupcakes. Cupcakes can be any color. They look so artificial to me that I don't know. They look happy to me. <laughs> I want a cupcake cup. Oh, and about sizes. Uh, when I went to a fast food restaurant, um, I ordered this large size of Coke <laughs> for the first time in my life. And they gave me this extra, extra, extra large Coke. It was just gigantic. <laughs> Fast food restaurants in Japan have some of the same menu items, but they're smaller there than they are here in America. Like Subway sandwiches, no joke, a six inch sub there was like this. It was tiny. It was like three bites of a sandwich. I don't remember exactly how small it was. So Very small. I can't remember well. So next time I think we should like, measure it. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, we'll go to Subway one more time while we're here and take a video. And then we'll go to Subway in Japan yeah, and take a video. And maybe McDonald's, the yeah. size of Coke. Let's okay. measure those. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, America's big. That's what I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> so for maybe American viewers, what kind of interesting American things should I experience next time? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.